Hi everyone. Welcome to Geeta's classes. Uh, today we are going to see discrete random variable. Uh, by definition, a random variable, you know already what is a random variable? Random variable means uh, you are defining, you are assigning some number for each outcome of the sample space. Okay. So if the random variable takes only countable number of values, then it is called discrete random variable. So we are defining discrete random variable only for discrete sample space. Therefore, it can be uh, assigned only finitely many values or countably. Even if it is infinite, it should be countable. That is the meaning. Now, probability mass function. So if you are defining, this is uh, defined only for discrete random variable. Probability mass function means discrete random variable. So if x is a discrete random variable, you are defining that x as a discrete random variable. It can be assigned the values x1, x2, etc. etc. So we know what is the random variable? We are assigning some numbers for each outcome of the sample space. Now, instead of assigning some number, if you are assigning the probability, then it is and if it satisfies these two conditions, any number, instead of any number, if you are assigning the probability pi, pi of this xi, happening of xi, then and if it satisfies these two conditions, probability of xi greater than 0 and the total probability, if you add up all, add up of all the values, it should be equal to 1. If it satisfies these two conditions, then the function p is called the probability mass function of the random variable x. Next is expectation. So if for a discrete random variable capital X, for each xi we are assigning pi I told. So for x1 we are assigning p1, for x2 you are assigning p2 and etc. For xn you are assigning pn. Then the expectation of the random variable x is defined as e of x is equal to, this is the general definition, e of x is equal to sigma i varies from 1 to infinity xi into pi. It should be multiplied by the corresponding probability and you should take the summation. Similarly, if it in the place of x, if you have x squared, just replace this xi by xi squared. In general, e of x power k means in the place of x, you have whatever is here, you just write it the right hand side. So, sigma i varies from 1 to n xi power k into pi. Okay. So, if you want to find out x squared, this should be x squared. If it is x and x k. And this e of x is also called the mean of the random variable x. So, mean of the random variable is denoted by the symbol mu. It is nothing but the mathematical expectation of the variable x. So, sigma i varies from 1 to infinity, xi into pi. Okay. So, variance. The variance of a random variable capital X is defined as the mathematical expectation of x minus e of x, the whole squared. In the place of x, if it is removed by x minus e of x, the whole squared, then it is uh, uh, defined as variance and it is uh, denoted by variance of x. So, variance of x is nothing but e of x minus e of x the whole squared that is sigma i varies from 1 to infinity x minus e of x the whole squared into pi. So, in the place of x we are finding e of, e of x is already expectation of the random variable x. Subtract from x and take the power of x then find the expectation that will give you the variance of the random variable x. Next is cumulative probability distribution. Uh, already we have seen what is uh, cumulative probability distribution. Just definition I have given. We will see some example. Cumulative means probability of up to that point what is the uh, summation. Cumulative distribution function will give you the corresponding summation of for uh, summation for each probability. Okay. Now I will give you one example for cumulative distribution function. If a coin is tossed for three times, already we have seen in the previous ex uh, class, I have explained this, how many, what are all the outputs, so HHT, etc. Last one will be TTT. Three uh, coins, uh, a coin is tossed three times, so this will be our sample space, right? This is our sample space, HHH, etc. up to TTT. I am defining one. Uh, random variable capital X as number of heads. I am defining 
one variable capital X, random variable capital X as number of heads. So what are all the number of heads I can have? I can I cannot have one uh, one variable will be zero. That is no heads at all zero. Or I can get one head or two heads or three heads. What are the corresponding probability? This I have explained in the previous class. So one by eight only one. Okay, only one possibility. So one by eight. This is three by eight and three by eight and three will be one by eight. Now cumulative probability. How will you find out the cumulative probability? Number of heads can be zero. Zero means corresponding probability is one by eight. So cumulative means what up to that point the probability of x less than or equal to zero that is one by eight. Now this is one. So probability is three by eight. So here the meaning is x less than or equal to one. What will what is that? How will you find out probability of zero plus probability of one? So you have to add these two one by eight plus three by eight which is four by eight. Similarly, how to find out for P of x is uh, x is equal to two. Cumulative probability x less than or equal to two. So you have to add up uh, p of zero, p of one, and p of two. All the three values should be added. Here corresponding probability is three by eight. If you add all these three values, seven by eight. Then three. Then one by eight. We know this is probability is the one by eight. Now total will be eight by eight. And always remember this should be one. If you find out the cumulative probability, the last value, this column, this last value should be equal to one because you are summing all the previous probabilities. Okay, so total probability should be always one. Therefore, therefore, please be careful. If you are not getting one, it is a clue for you that we have made a mistake. Okay, so the last probability should be equal to one for cumulative. probability then we'll discuss some more problems uh, in the next live class thank you for listening thank you